Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is my concurrency sharp programming assignment where we had to create an airport terminal that could handle and manage the planes as they came in using threads and sort of uh, concurrent techniques. So here's the airport. I'll fly off one of the planes. Of course, the graphics aren't particularly interesting, but can you see as he goes, he locks up each of these sections, which sort of are threads each in their own right. We can have planes landing, and as they land, they move through the system and lock up into the nearest port that's available. Now, that's all fine and dandy, but the whole point of concurrent programming is to manage multiple things happening at once. So if we shoot off this plane and this plane at the same time, they're going to have a collision issue. And this plane, can you see, waits until the section becomes free. You should wait again and then take off when it's free. Now, let's have a plane land and go into dock 2. What happens when we send this guy out? Hopefully we get the timing right. Boom, now. So he has to wait, then he can go, then he can go, etc. So the threads lock up when a plane, in inverted commas, is in their section. And this is my concurrent programming. Of course, the, um, this is a very, very basic program, and the graphics aren't great, and my laptop's getting a little bit old now, so it looks a bit messy. But the idea behind it is that the threads um, control their process, the plane, etc., and lock up. Um, as and when. Um, that's the essential idea behind it. So um, there's concurrent um, programming techniques um, and ideas written in C-sharp um, within Visual Studio's IDE. I've been Ben Cadell. Thanks for watching.